pizza truck. Oh no. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Domino's Pizza truly is a household name when it comes to fast food pizza. With that title, though, comes some secrets that they don't want their customers to know. Don't order more than four toppings. My pizza never hurt nobody. Come again, sir? The secret to the best pizza is in the toppings. From classic pepperoni and tomato to creative additions like spinach and artichoke, pizzas are a great way to get in some of your daily vegetables. But the question always is, which toppings are the best on pizza? That, of course, depends on what you like. While there are countless different topping options available, you may want to use discretion when creating your perfect pizza pie. It's not hard to figure out that the more toppings you order, the less toppings of each individual item you receive. Outside, don't disrespect the pizza parlor. There's just only so much that a pizza can hold before running out of room. One to two toppings, three to four toppings, and five or more toppings are usually priced in three categories which can make ordering your pizza a question of value versus number of toppings. You could think you're fooling Domino's by getting nine toppings, but you're actually just missing out because beyond four toppings, you'll be getting less of each. Domino's pizza wasn't always good. But Chief, what if they like pizza? Way out of you, Lou. Mm. In 2009, Domino's Pizza was all about terrible pizza and had a bad reputation. The crust was cardboard-like, and the sauce tasted like ketchup, and worst of all, they utilized old, frozen, and canned veggies to meet their 30-minute delivery obligation. At one point, Domino's Pizza's new president, Patrick Doyle, openly stated in a commercial that their pizza was terrible. The company went on to openly admit to the the public in an advertising campaign that they were serving lackluster pizza. The advertisement began with an honest statement about how bad the pizza was. Doesn't feel like there's much love in Domino's Pizza. And it was a refreshing breath of honesty in an industry where exaggeration and deception are used all too often. Domino's indicated that it was open to criticism in the second part of the advertisement. They claimed to have listened to their customers and improved their product as a result. Their chefs experimented with various cheeses and sauces before launching into an entirely newly redesigned pizza recipe. In the ad, several of its chefs showed off their new improvements. They began using fresh shredded cheese, or genuine cheese. They also started to use a new garlic, oregano, basil, and red pepper sauce. To make the crust more tasty, a lot of butter, garlic, and herbs were added, and from that point on, Domino's Pizza was no longer the joke of fast food pizza chains. Some truly insane off-menu pizzas. Ah, <laughs> pizza! Yep. Again! Pepperoni. Some of the creations listed on a Domino's Reddit thread sound like they'd take an eternity to prepare if a large group of people ordered them at the same time, which is probably why Domino's doesn't want you to think there's a secret menu. On Reddit, a Domino's employee described some of the strange foods he's made with Domino's ingredients. Quesadillas, calzones, strombolis, variations of their stuffed cheesy breads, cinnamon rolls, and even some off-menu pizza creations a Thai-style pizza that used mango habanero sauce and garlic parmesan sauce with various vegetables adorned atop it. Uh, you ordered a pizza? What's the damage, young man? While the average customer can't order any of these themselves, you may get lucky if you find yourself befriending a Domino's employee. Domino's does, however, provide an off-menu pie at most locations, according to various sources. All of the meat selections are stacked onto one crust in the Super Lot, a truly mind-bending and gut-wrenching choice that would make vegetarians tremble with fear. The pizza is described as follows. Pepperoni, shredded ham, ground beef, mushrooms, red onion, pineapple, olives, and oregano. The Super Lot is a carnivorous feast that's reminiscent of some of the Pizza Hut hidden menu items, so much so that you won't be able to detect the pineapple, which has somehow found its way onto the plate. Messed up orders on purpose? We thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of 
Domino's. Domino's personnel, as strange as it may sound, would occasionally purposely mess up your order. They don't want to be cruel because they don't like you, but rather because they want to take home a free pizza. Yes, you heard that right. They get to take home the pizza they screwed up when they fix your order and give you the pizza you requested. Although a former Domino's employee did admit to occasionally screwing up an order, it was always made right with the customer receiving the right pizza in the end. That's all right. Even though the trick would often work with pizza orders, it would hardly ever work on side orders. An extra garlic bread or cheesy bread would most likely be ordered again fairly quickly, which meant that the extra order that employees were hoping to eat would be sent out with another customer. The employees also love it when a customer doesn't show up to collect their orders because, you probably guessed it, they get to keep the order for themselves. They are keeping an eye on you. You need to keep both eyes open. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as privacy in the digital age. This is true even when ordering pizza. Employees at Domino's are aware of your full order history. Employees can also write remarks on clients' behavior using a specific tool. Once you give the employee your phone number, they have access to all of your Domino's-related history including notes from other employees that may comment on your overall behavior when ordering. So be nice to your Domino's delivery driver. Plain pizza may not mean what you think. Pizza man, pizza man, I got pizza here. Who wants pizza man? Pizza is one of the world's most popular foods, loved around the globe for its versatility and flavors. From the thick crust pizza of Italy to the light as air pizza of Japan, pizza is an absolute classic. And while it's easy to get wrapped up in the toppings and the types of pizza, sometimes the best pizza is the simplest pizza. But is there a thing as a pizza that's too simple? When you buy a simple pizza at a pizza joint, you're normally ordering a pizza with just sauce and cheese on it, according to the vast majority of pizza lovers. It is known. It is known. Well, a few Domino's customers discovered the hard way that the phrase simple pizza at Domino's might actually refer to a pizza with only red sauce on top. That's right, no cheese or toppings, just pizza crust and tomato sauce. If you're looking for a normal simple pizza when ordering from Domino's, it may be safer to specify that you want cheese on it as well. You can get free or discounted pizza. Honk if you like surprise! You may be lucky enough to obtain a free or reduced price Domino's pizza in a variety of ways. According to some trusted online sources, in some cases, all you have to do to get a free lunch is be polite to the workers. We don't know how effective this strategy is, but it's definitely worth a try. Having the correct contacts is another method to receive inexpensive food that has been mentioned online. This is because employees receive a 50% discount, and if you know someone who works there, you can have them make an order for you and voila, your order will be half price. Yet another option for saving money on meals is to make your own Legends Pizza. According to customers, this is a simple and quick approach to save 30%. I'm not paying for those. According to a corporate news release, Domino's American Legends Pizzas are a range of six flag-waving specialty pizzas containing 40% more cheese than a conventional pizza, buttery crusts, and great combinations of premium toppings. Honolulu Hawaiian, Cali Chicken Bacon Ranch, Pacific Veggie, Memphis Barbecue Chicken, Buffalo Chicken, and Philly Cheese Steak are among the six variations. So the next time you're placing a Domino's pizza order, think to yourself if there are any ways in which you can receive a discount, or if you're lucky enough, maybe even a free pizza. They will sometimes fulfill a crazy customer request. Hey, pizza's here! There you go. That's $122.50. Yeah. 
Some companies and restaurants like to have fun with their customers' crazy requests and will play along when that request isn't too outrageous. Domino's and a few other restaurant websites provide you the opportunity to write special instructions for the delivery driver when you place your order, which can be fun for some creative customers. Some Domino's customers, on the other hand, have taken advantage of this ordering option in some unorthodox ways. Time of your life, huh, kid? It's about to be. For example, some customers have posted their zany requests online and showed off the end result when Domino's actually fulfilled their end of the playful antics. Everything from jokes, puns, and even dinosaurs have been drawn on the inside of customer boxes, which has led others to also start requesting unique additions to their pizza boxes. Don't be upset, though, if your request isn't acknowledged. It always comes down to the specific employee who's in charge of putting together your order. They used to go by a different name. Domino. Domino's Pizza is the second biggest franchise pizza business in the United States. Two brothers opened the restaurant in the 1960s with borrowed money. Tom and James Monahan bought Dominic's, a tiny Michigan pizzeria that they ran together until James sold his steak for a used automobile. By changing the name to Domino's Pizza, Tom breathed new life into the brand. By the late 1970s, the United States had over 200 franchise pizza shops, and Domino's Pizza was poised to expand internationally. Get that pizza. The Domino's Pizza menu was kept fairly basic. They only served one style of pizza dough, dubbed normal pizza. Tossing and tugging the dough into shape was how Domino's Pizza's dough was formed, and there was no real automation. There were only two sizes of dough on the pizza menu at the time, and it wasn't until much later that competition prompted them to introduce a medium and extra-large pizza. After fully embracing their new name of Domino's Pizza, the idea of a delivery driver who worked for the company, the pizza chain was facing a lawsuit regarding the change. Domino sugar manufacturer Amstar Corp. filed a trademark infringement action against Domino's Pizza in 1975. Domino's Pizza was found not to have infringed on the Domino sugar trademark by a federal court and still continues to use the name for their brand to this day. They've tested using a delivery drone. That was that? I know. Pizza! <laughs> You may have seen them, delivery drones buzzing through the sky to deliver packages to their destinations. It's the future of delivery, and it's closer than you think. In the past year, major corporations like Amazon, Walmart, and Google have all made major delivery drone investments. It's Domino's. I have to go. Today, more than 50,000 delivery drones are operating in the United States, delivering everything from diapers to pizza. That's right, even delivering pizzas. Domino's has begun testing drones to deliver pizzas over the past few years. You could be perplexed as to why you were unaware of this. That's because it was only done in New Zealand so far. Domino's collaborated with startup Flirty to create the world's first ever pizza delivery drone in 2016. It was made of carbon fiber, aluminum, and 3D printed components, and it was designed to complete deliveries in a variety of weather conditions and flight paths in suburban environments. Can you imagine a future where your piping hot Domino's pizza is delivered to you via drone? You may not have to imagine it for too much longer, because Domino's is really trying to move forward with the idea and bring their testing to a larger scale. Order up another great video, just tap or click, then hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.